So Ariel, welcome to Fright Fest. Now you've had work play here before. I know that you've had um, I think something in the dirt you were involved with last year. What does it feel like to bring your own baby to this this festival? Yeah, it's such an I'm mean, sorry. <laughs> I can look, I should be looking at you. Okay, so um, it's such an incredible honor. I I really like I'm not kidding when I would see pictures of like something in the dirt on that screen and it seemed like a far you know kind of a far off hope like well maybe in the next 10 years or something that I hope to you know be part of well just travel overseas at all this is the first time I've ever been overseas to travel with a film to go to this festival and then even you know that that scream like I had really been hoping like well, maybe someday someday so for it to happen with trim season is like an incredible honor I mean it was an honor for something in the dirt I, I designed and was second unit director and the rustic guys Justin and Aaron and Dave are just the best so I I had wished I could go there then and to be you know one year later here I just I'm, I'm I couldn't be more thrilled <laughs> to thank you I think horror and and female characters goes hand in hand but I feel that trim season does something a little different what I could give you like you just uh, talk to us a little bit about the film and uh, the characters because they're all quite feisty women right <laughs> you yeah I mean I, I've got I couldn't have been luckier like with our with our cast I mean our crew as well there are a lot of uh, my production designer our, my costume designer Katie and Haley like the entire the entire set you know felt really in my experience in in Hollywood like a more uniquely just the the percentage of women involved in the storytelling process in all areas but the cast obviously just the script that I was brought um, already had so much but when we started casting for it what everyone was bringing to their roles Jane obviously as Mona as the, the witch it was just so you know she she elevated it to something so you know fun to to develop with her and what her dynamic as I don't want to give too much away but you know we, we were talking a lot about you know this supernatural control that can be exerted over people but what she was choosing to do just with her own words and her own poise and like how much that she was you know spinning the spider web and puppeting people just as this powerful poised person regardless of what she could do with with her hands and then having you know these obviously Emma and Beth Millian is just the best <laughs> um, what we were you know all the all our trimmers who come up and just having this fleshed out team I didn't you know want it to just be all these you know just it load up it's just a van full of trim girls and this is you know every single person I wanted you know to work at length ahead of time with what you know their experience why they're going up to the mountain what they um, have in common with each other as they're meeting for the first time but also specifically between Emma and Mona you know you have this again I don't want to give too much away you know but you have this villain of the story but even you know what she has in common with you know what she admires even in Emma you know what she sees in Emma and what Emma sees in her before everything starts unraveling you know that Emma has no power in her own life she can't you know exert control over anything and to come to this place that has this like peace and freedom that she's not finding in LA and to actually see it in this you know matriarch of this farm um, I think I was really excited between both Beth and uh, Jane and Emma and, and Mona of like how how those scenes like what even just the little like looks they would have with each other of that kind of you know the human element that is then you know made supernaturally more surreal but to start with something that is a very human you know that that we have you know between women and I hope I hope it comes across on screen because that was a huge part of the development of it. It definitely does. It's a fantastic film. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.